Welcome back. Today we're gonna create a intuitive collage. So what you need is magazines, whatever magazines you have on hand or newspapers or flyers. It's sometimes hard to come by these days, but you may have some hanging around. So we need those. Scissors, paper to glue it onto. I use a mixed media pad here, it's kind of squarish one. You can use any size, small or big, it doesn't really matter. Maybe if you like some washi tape, that's optional. Different kinds of markers and pens, pencils, also optional, but if you have them, great and something to glue them onto oh yeah i do have a glue stick but any other glue you know school glue will do i have this one over here too will work too you can also use paint if you like any kind of watercolor or tempera or acrylics that's up to you too but i'm trying to concentrate just on the collage part itself not much about embellishing it because it's not an artistic exercise it's more for your mental health obviously because that's what we're after healing your soul get your emotions out there right so let's begin so when you go through these magazines just pick out things or words that resonate with you at the moment right now how do you how you feel don't worry about any kind of composition for later on just think about how you feel what goes on in your head at the moment and how your emotions respond to the images you have you think you can make your collage with then kind of start um, kind of narrowing down the specific area you like to use as a collage and kind of think about it, yeah and also if you only have like I only have a small space so I can't use can't put as much on here so I'm just gonna start cutting them up or you can also just rip them up Going for a perfection, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that don't put your artsy fartsy hat on, just go with the flow. It's not about making a piece of art, it's about creating, putting your feelings and your emotions outside your body. When you do this, there's usually something that comes together in your mind maybe a consistency or a pattern of things usually you feel I mean you can feel different emotions at once but sometimes it's just one or one is very strong and kind of overpowers the other ones so once you have what you think you you want to put on your collage and start kind of arranging it the way 
they kind of relate to each other. So we get her in the middle. And then we're gonna tell you what I'm what I'm feeling right now, so you can maybe make get some ideas. What do you think? What's going on with you? Okay, so as you can see, this lady in the middle here looks a little crazy. That's how I feel, like overwhelmed and just crazy with all the things. Everything just comes out of, <laughs> seems to scream out of my hair. So that's definitely how I feel sometimes, especially nowadays. And this is somebody walking on the edge of a snow drift, a mountain edge probably. With it was while there's a snowstorm going on, so that's how I feel sometimes. It's hard, to, like, especially today, I just feel like trying hard and don't really get anywhere because everything seems to be against me, and I also feel trapped in the situation I'm in right now. So that's what the box is for. I feel like I'm in that box, trying, and then here, this is how I'm trying to get out, kind of looking out the box and say, What the heck. And this one is a battle. So this is the battle with me trying to change the situation I'm in. I'm going to glue that down. I'm just going to take a pen, see if this one works, marker, kind of just try to relate the emotions to myself. So this is me in chaos. So obviously and it goes back into here. And the battle within. Getting it, trying to get things into order. And of course, you can do the background if you want. And that's what helps a little, you know, with And you don't have to do this step, you can just leave it how it is, but I just feel like doing a little bit of that. There's some craziness coming out of my head. <laughs> Make this a little more bloodier because the battle is not pretty. Even internal battle is not. Some more blue. Now you also can put words, which I'm going to do. Two arrows going back and forth. If you feel happy and joyful, you should put, you know, put the happy one out there, your happy thoughts out there. But it's not how I feel at the moment. It's my inner turmoil going on here.
guess I could go on. Can I maybe point out the ones that are the ones that I feel the most? That one, probably anxiety. A little bit desperate sometimes, certain things. Frustration, yes. Some anger. You got some lips. <laughs> I like to mess around sometimes. <laughs> Make it more crazy looking. So yeah, I think that's enough for today. Put my feelings out there and hope that they are gonna stay there. They're not always are part of my body and like if you put them out there like this you notice they're just words and they're just feelings and emotions and it's nothing bad or good they're just there and you let them flow through you and you move on it's good to feel them and but it's also you know good to know it's just a feeling it's not gonna hurt you and it's not gonna matter in the long run it's just these things come up and life goes up and down and yeah. It's just right now, but that doesn't mean it's going to be there tomorrow. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you're going to be uh, back for the next one. We're probably going to do some more collages. There's lots of different collages you can do in mental health aspect. Okay, make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and watch that video up here. Here, right, we're at a series of Heal Your Soul with Art starts. <laughs>